My name is Christine Ackreiner. I'm a family support specialist for Birth to Three Home Visiting Program. We are a free home visiting program. So we do expecting mothers up to the age of three. Um, what we do is we go in and we do in-home support services. So we do activities, we promote developmental milestones, do screenings, help promote just that parent-child interaction. We look at a bunch of different risk factors basically. And a risk factor can be a variable of things. So we go in, we do that screening. Um, it takes about 45 minutes or an hour if the family's interested in the program. And we would just go in, we do a developmental screening, a social emotional screening, and then we just go over a series of questions with the families. And then we come back, take a look, see where they would kind of fall. And that's what would get them to be their weekly or biweekly for our program. I'm Erin Jager. And so I have two children. They are Coulter and Mavis, and then my husband, Kyle. So the program is PI, which is Preventative Initiative. And it is for birth to three-year-olds. And like I signed my daughter up even before she was born. So that zero really means zero because she was in the program before she was born. And they help you track the development of your child. They help so you socialize your child. They can send out referrals for early intervention. They can send out referrals for like physical therapy. Like if you notice something is like wa walking delayed. Um, and then when your child turns three, they actually help them transition into Harlem's preschool program which is three to five. I have been with Aaron's family for, uh, well, they're one actually close to one of the first families that I've been with, so four years. Um, I started with their older one. He's now gonna be starting kindergarten. Um, and then I work with Mavis, who she will be two in August. I uh, just love that family. They've been great. I think that the PI program helps parents and families because it's just support all around. And the developmental screenings, because you know, it's hard to tell if your child's exactly where they're supposed to be because some children you see are like extremely advanced and then there's other children who are delayed and you're like, is my child in the middle? Is my child over here? Is my child over here? Confirming that your child is okay or that your child needs help and having the support through the help. We follow a curriculum, it's called Baby Talk, and through them, each um, each week we look at what that curriculum and the activity is gonna cover. So I'd say every few, at least one out of the four is either kind of based on reading, early literacy, you know, just promoting that. Kind of how Home Visit works for me is I always bring either what that activity is gonna be about or I just bring, say, two, three books. I'll try and end the visit with the child choosing a book and then either I'll read it depending on the child's mood because we are talking about three and under. So, um, you know, it always depends on how that's gonna go or mom or dad or the caregiver will sit and read the story to them. The preventative initiative in home visits, generally our home visitor comes and she sings a hello song and then she gets her big bag of goodies out and she gets all the developmental toys out so that my daughter can play with them and my son in the past. And we do the developmental project for the day, whether they are doing like a speech one, matching colors, fine motor skills, all the things that little brains need. And then we go over that. She also reads a book to them before they leave and then a goodbye song. And it's about an hour, but they pack a lot in for an hour. It's also, they're little, they cannot sit that long and pay super close attention. So, but it's very impactful with the things that they do at the house. If we could serve a thousand families, it would be great. I know we're limited and there are certain, you know, criteria and qualifications, you know, based on the risk factors. But I mean, I think every family could benefit. It's not, you know, just to know that importance. You could be a super hands-on parent and, you know, read and this and that, but just going over certain, you know, those milestones, doing those screenings, see where your child's at, what you can tell them about, you know, handouts that you give them for literacy or local resources in the community. Like there's just so much that you can impact each family. And, you know, based on those, you know, weekly or biweekly visits or just be able to give them that book and build up that library. So I think we're doing a better job right now. We have grown. I mean, we've been able to serve almost our full caseload every year, which is 105 families. But it's like a little community. So it's like you get the support of other moms, you get the support of the home educators, they have the resources for you. And then your kids get to interact with other little people that are the same age as them. And I just think that's extremely beneficial for everyone. I have actually told bunches of people about it. I have a bunch of my friends that are in the program now because I don't know what I would have done without the program because Coulter then also got preschool because of it. And it just helped him developed so much and Christy gave me so much support with that. Last year was the first year that we got United Way. 
Um, so we got books for our families, which is huge, help build that lending library for the families. Um, promote that, you know, parent-child interaction at playgroup and also continue that at home. We were able to get lending library materials, so we were able to create bags for families to help promote, you know, certain areas that we're working on. So some of that fine motor, problem solving, gross motor, things like that, so to help with that development. And then we were able to do field trips, which was so amazing. This year we did uh, the Apple Orchard, Kid Spot, which is gymnastics. We did Sephora, Discovery Center. If we did not have the funds for United Way, we would not be able to do that. And I think that that has built a lot of the relationships with the other families. I could go on and on about the you know United Way, um, but that literacy piece is just huge because we're trying to promote that. Um, and then with the, the Dolly Imagination, the sign up for the parents, we gave that to all of our families. We signed up right then and there, so that way now they get that free book. So each month they get a book in the mail and it comes all like cutely little wrapped in plastic and everything and they get each book a month and it's always like it's super duper cute books and my kids absolutely love them like they it's like i'll be like your book came in the mail and they both come running culture aged out because it only goes until five but culture still gets to read mavis's books so they absolutely love when their books come in the mail it's like their favorite day we built that relationship and connection and coming alongside seeing you know, Mavis, who's in the program, but then her son as well, and just the family in general, and seeing them together at groups and family nights, and they're so involved, and their children are just their number one, and I just love working with them. Christy brings a big, like, bag of toys. My children think they're toys, but they're educational things, and they go over the educational things, and there's always a, like, subject for the day of like what they're focusing on and everything whether it be um like speech or like fine motor skills or anything there's always like a subject for it and you go over that whichever subject that is which is you always done with playing you do all of that and then christy will score like do de developmental checks and everything it's very like christy gives us support where because it's hard to have because culture has adhd so it's very hard to have a child that's that hyperactive and she always gives us support, and she's always willing to talk to me. Even culture's not in the program anymore. She still talks to me about culture. And it's just nice that like you have someone that, because Christy genuinely cares about my family, and she checks in on us, and she texts us even when we're not like in the program, like at home, she'll check on me and like check on us. And if she sees them out in public, she like welcomes them with open arms. So it's like, it's nice that there's someone that just cares about how they're developing. And that's just really, because we didn't get that when I was a kid. So it's nice that we have someone like that for my kids. And that's why I like the program so much, because it's a support for all of us. My husband and I and the kid. 